Hi there, right, welcome to this video. Today we're going to play Trajan. Uh, first of all, we'll do a, a setup and a quick rules overview. Um, Trajan is a game by Stefan Feld. It's um, moderate complex complexity. I'd say it's a medium, solid medium weight game. Very, very good game. Lots of moving parts. Uh, and the Rondell, the, um, the Mancala system employed in this game, is an absolute beast and it's a beast to tame and that's where the, this drives the whole game and it's a lot of fun so very worth playing uh, don't be put off it by it it's um, it's it's a very easy game to play the complexity is um, hitting <laughs> hitting things right on the Mancala to get your actions right it's a, it's, it's a bit harder than it first looks but other than that the gameplay is pretty simple and definitely worth uh, watching so um, or, or watching to learn, to learn the game, I would say. So we're just going to do a two-play game, myself and Donna. And first of all, we'll go through setup. So the Trajan tiles are in six different categories. I was a little confused when I first read the rule book about the six categories. But basically what they are is, there'll be a pile of tiles with a red ring on. Uh, or brown ring, semicircle I should say, or whatever. Or oval, oval is the word I'm looking for. And that refers to here, to those there. So that's one pile. They get shuffled up and put on uh, this arch of Trajan here. The other pile has the green semicircle, and that's up there. So as you can imagine, these are going to allow you to get men out there, same as the, the other one. So we'll put that at the top of our arch of Trajan. We have one that's just laurel leaves and victory points. They're all nine victory points, but the peg colours, we'll come to them in a bit, change colours. Uh, not always the same, blue and blue, white and white. Oh, they are no blue and white here, so they, they differ. So that's uh, victory points there, that's one pile. This one is for plus two tiles, which we have them in, the, we put them in the C there in piles, and they give you added uh, actions as well as victory points. We'll put that pile there. This pile is to, is to get more cards. There's some neat set collection straightforward set collection in the game. It's lots of like little mini games that meet together pretty well I think. And then this final pile has these three types of uh, tiles in it. One with a helmet on, one with fire and one with uh, bread which we like to call Jaffa Cakes. So um, I don't know if in Americans get Jaffa Cakes but everybody in England knows about Jaffa Cakes. They look a bit like Jaffa Cakes to me. Anyway there they go. So that's them, that pile there. So they're all equal piles. Um, we have the quarter year markers, one, two, three, and four. Because when we reveal the fourth one, at the end of that round it is the end of the game. Uh, I'm going to place those there. We have three uh, ship tiles. They're pretty straightforward. This one's going to pay out for um, cards that are uh that are sets of two. So if you have a set of two cards, say two oranges, you're going to get five points. Uh, a further set of two, it could be another two oranges or or two, um, let's have a look, two cows, for instance, and a third it would be ten points. And so if you've got three sets of two, you cash out at 15 points. The first person to do that, first dibs, will get the 15 points, but then it gets turned over to the grey side. And that 15 points for, for the whole set of free, free, free uh, dual cards would now be 11 points, so it's a lesser amount. So that's one. Um, this one is for just different cards. So you'd, every single card in your set would have to be different. For one card on its own, for two points. Uh, for two, two cards, four points. Three cards, six points. And four cards, eight points. Uh, again, once first person dips, other people can go there, but they're going to get the less points and once you play the cards through the shipping they actually go up in your plateau in front of you which will go towards end, bo end game bonuses which will be, be, be depicted by these bonus tiles here so you want to collect uh, sets of cards to so for instance look if you had uh, a cow uh, face up in front of you it would be worth three points per cow uh, three points per wheat okay this one is all cards alike so it's got equals 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 so four oranges, 20 points. Or on the back side, 15 points. And lesser amounts for, for, for lesser, lesser amount of cards. So they're the ship's tiles. 
Um, the bonus tiles we referred to, they go in this bag. This is just a this is the bag that came with it. I've got my little UK Games Expo uh, badge on there. So these tiles go in into the bag, all shuffled up, and we take two tiles out and they go on this spot here. Um, there is a cool mechanic to get these tiles, which is in the Senate here, and we'll start off with a disc each in the Senate. We'll find out who's going to be start player in a minute. But when somebody goes, say, I'm going to be red, and I, and I did a Senate action, I would cover this first space here. I would immediately get the two points, but I would be leading in the Senate at the moment, and it shows two under here. But um, an opponent could get a Senate tile, um, and that uh, the, the, they're on the back sides of these that if you get a senate tile they give different victory points one I think gives uh, sorry not victory points gives um, votes senate votes and one I think alone gives four and these count towards it so, one, five. can you get one with five so there's one with five and um, you can build them up here they get discarded after the senate vote but you can beat or you can either uh, buff up your position on here or you may not have even moved here and still beat the person that's that's gone on there but of course you're not getting the victory points as if you also moved. here are extra action tiles so i've just placed them in the piles here and they've been shuffled up so we randomly put three out because we see there's three like brownie orange squares to place them there here are the forum tiles and in a two-player game if we look there's only six go out so we look we've got a block of three here another block of three and then you can see grayed out for two players and in a free player game, be up to here, four player game, the whole lot. So these have been shuffled up and we'll randomly place them out. There's one of them, as luck would have it, there's one of them forum tiles and that's worth four points. <laughs> Another forum tile, uh, Senate tiles, sorry. Oh no, this is ridiculous. These were shuffled by the way. Okay, there's a hammer. There we go. That is the set up for two players for those tiles. Um, also, there's going to be building tiles. The, these have been shuffled up, so we're just going to place these out randomly up on here. And there's a bit of a, like, it's not area control, but adjacency rule here with getting men out. And we'll just, you'll see this in play. So it's all like, almost like these little mini games within games, isn't there, Donna? There's, there's, yeah. Everything seems to be like there's six six main actions, but there's you know there's several things with some of the actions that you can actually do. And you get some cool combos in this game as well, and it is an excellent excellent game. It's easily for me easily uh, a solid nine out of ten. It's that good. Uh, I played it at all player counts, counts now. I played it at two player, three player, and four player, and I would say its sweet spot was certainly the two and three player. The four player was good. But that was with two new players and it just took a little bit longer. It was still still a great game though. Um, also, with these tiles, we're going to place them in this area control bit up here at the top. So, randomly out they'll go. Into these areas. One for each. There's another one of those, um, what do you call them, Donna? Senate, Senate tiles. And we're not far off set up now. So the Mancala is going to um, run the game basically. To start the game you're going to start with two pegs of your choice. It can be two colours the same or, or different colours. And there's six different coloured pegs as there's six different actions and six different bowls. These bowls are really cool aren't they? They look like earthenware on the player boards. And what will happen is, let's say for instance through... We're in mid-game and the situation's like this. If I picked up this bowl here, there is five pegs in it. So I would have to, you, you can't leave some in a bowl. Um, and you can pick up, up the pegs of any bowl on your turn. Say it just say for instance it was this one, it was five. I'd have to place a peg, any one I wanted, any colour, into the first bowl, the second bowl, the third bowl, the fourth bowl, and then the fifth bowl. So I'm going to drop one in each bowl after the one I've emptied. 
Wherever I end up, that's called referred to as the target bowl. The one I end up in the target bowl, if I match the colour of a Trajan tile that's here, and we'll come up more to that, and in fact, this one does, it's an orange and a blue, it doesn't matter how many pegs are in the bowl, as long as the orange and the blue are there, the orange and the blue could have already been there, but unless it's the actual bowl that I dropped my last peg into, then it activates the tile and I can use the tile and take it away. And uh, this one, for instance, would, would go permanently here to satisfy one of Rome's needs, and it would um, give me one victory point. But also, and this is what will happen a lot of the time, more often than not, you are setting yourself up for future turns to actually get Trajan tiles, but you can do the, in, the inner action. And this one, with the hammer, is the build action, which is um, here. And with the build action, what I can do, I can either take a little man and put him into this area here, or I can take a man from here, and we actually start the game with a man each there, and we also actually start the game with a man each up, up there, legionnaire each, and the big guy up here as well. Okay, and um, so what I can do on the build action is place my man on any one of these tiles. It's up to me, and I get the tile. So I get the tile and leave my man there. My man is going to stay in that position for the entirety of the game. I get the tile. Um, in this case, it's like a roofing tile. The first time, it's so neat because there's these little combos. The first time I actually place this tile over the decals on the board, over the illustrations, only the very first one, I get to do the associated action with it. So in this case, I would get to do a Trajan action because it's showing the arch here, which is simply picking any one of those Trajan tiles. The Trajan tile I pick has to go under where my Trajan arch is because every time um, a new Trajan tile is placed on the board through these actions, my Trajan arch moves along to the next available free space. So, of course, then a Trajan tile will go underneath it and then it moves along to the next free space. It may even jump a few because they're already filled, and that's how that works. Um, but also, if this is set collection two, very simple. If you collect three of these, it's worth 10 victory points at the end of the game. If you collect, um, is it four? Four, it's worth 20 victory points at the end of the game. And there's also wilds to make up these as well, which uh, uh, fit on. There's the wild one that would go there, a tile there for, for your wild. But it's initially worth five victory points as well. So that is the build action. I'll plunk him back. Oh, and what would happen? So once I've got more men out here through the various ways, I mean, here's one, and uh, getting this tile here um, allows me to put uh, a man out into here and get victory points. When I, when I further do a build action, I have to go adjacent to this man. So it can be diagonally adjacent as well. So right now where I placed him, there's another three, four, five, six, seven, eight tiles that I could actually place. So it's always got to be adjacent. And remember, I'm going to try and collect sets, or sometimes I may just want to do the further extractions by covering it for the first time. So there's lots of little strat strategic elements to it and little combos that you want to build up to. So that's the build action. The ship action, the next one, we explained it in brief, but basically this is how you're going to get your cards. You can get um, two cards off the top of the deck into your hand, then have to discard one to one of either the discard piles either side, and we'll see how they get uh, executed shortly. Or you can pick up, up one card off either side of the discard pile and take that to hand. That's, that's one action. Um, sorry, that's two actions. So it's, it's either the first one, take two into hand. The second action is one each off the discard piles. The third action is playing cards to the ships and shipping goods out. The goods denoted on the card, you're thematically shipping them out on the on, on here. And they're the ones with the suits where it's either uh, cards the same, like free oranges, or cards all different, or sets of cards, and you're going to get the points off the ships. And um, the four, and, and they then go, once you've shipped the goods, they, the cards then, it's pretty neat, they then go into your plateau of cards here, next to your game board in front of you, to try and, um, to try and hit these end game scorings off these favour tiles, which you're going to get through Senate actions. Um, the uh, fourth thing you can do with shipping is simply cards out your hand, put them in front of you.
uh, for endgame scoring. So that's then we shipping. come to this action here, which is the with the pillars. That's the forum action. And quite simply, you just take one of these tiles. If it's one of these um, senate actions, then that goes into on the purple uh, side here. Uh, if it's one of these tiles, these are extra action tiles. Um, as luck would have it, there'll be different ones come out. But these are all these brown coloured ones are extra action tiles, and they go here. And what's neat about the extra action tiles is, for instance, say I got the shipping one, and I, so I put it on shipping here. You notice it's got the plus one underneath. If I do, on future turns, I come to a shipping action, so my target ball, my last peg, goes into the shipping one. I'll do a shipping action as normal, of my one and my four uh, actions I can do of shipping. And then I can discard that tile and do the exact same action again, so I can do it twice. If, through, through uh, executing treasure tiles, see these plus two here, if I manage to get a plus two tile underneath here, that is permanent, the plus two tile, but these get discarded. But say I did a shipping action, I could discard this and do shipping a further two times. So in that turn, I'm going to do free shipping, free, free shipping actions. And if on that turn, I manage to get the Trajan tile at the same time, I get the Trajan tile plus free shipping actions. So these big combos that, that, that can come off. So pretty neat. Here okay. we have the military action. And the military action is this top third of the board here. And there's an area, quite a neat area control aspect going on here. And what happens is, the very first time you do a military action, you move, you move your big guy. Your big guy is called a military leader, and you've got your little guys that are legionnaires. So first of all, you have to move your big guy, and he has to go to an adjacent province. To start with, you see the dotted lines, there's three adjacent provinces. Uh, the Alps, uh, Raetia, I think, and uh, Nuricum. Um, and also Britannia Britain there has got three uh, it shows, so there's there's three adjacent pl places. So first of all, I would have to go to one of these three places, and that would be my turn. So say I went to here, what I would get, I would not get the victory points yet, I would get the tile. And the tile, in this case, the green helmet, could go here, and that is one that would get discarded to satisfy one of Rome's needs on the tiles as, as they come out in gameplay. If, after, I did another military action, I could actually move my little legionnaire guy to where my military leader is. He can only go to where your military leader is. And that way, I would then get the five victory points. If there was already my opponent player there, whatever the victory points is, it's minus three for every opposing player there. So, in a, cause you, because you can only have one guy, um, le little small legionnaire, in each province of each player... So the um, maximum you're going to lose is minus three. So this would be two points if Donna came in here after me. She'd have to have her man in there at the same, same time, her leader. And that's how that works. Well, you know, we'll, we'll see that a lot more in gameplay. So there's a bit of an area control thing going on there and some good points to be got there as well as tiles. Also for uh, your military action, you can simply take a man off your board and place him into this. Now we've got the sense action. Quite simply, move your disc forward here. For the first time, you get two victory points immediately. And the second time, another a three, and then four, five, six, seven, eight. You cannot get more than eight, even if you took the Senate action. Um, and that is going to go through votes at the end of the um, first quarter for who gets first dibs on these bonus tiles. So the person that is um, higher up in the Senate, between these points here and Senate tiles, these ones... Um, the person with the most is going to get first dibs on these, but more interestingly, this, the, the the tile that's left will be the will be for the second person that um, that had the, the person with the second most votes. Obviously, in a two-player game, um, one one person is going to be the one the second person with the most votes, and they are going to get the second tile. But in a four-player game or three-player game, that isn't the isn't the case, is it? But the person that gets it second has the tile turned over, and they get lesser points. And they stay like that. So they're for endgame bonuses. But for instance, this one pays out four bonus tiles. You can see the depiction of a bonus tile there. And it's three victory points per bonus tile. So just this one alone is going to be worth three victory points. But if you got it as a second dibs choice, then it's only going to be two victory points. So that's how the um, 
the Senate action is going to work. Here, the Trajan action, straightforward, you get to pick one of your Trajan tiles. Uh, there's one of six tiles you can pick, and it goes under wherever your Trajan arch may be at the time. And then your Trajan arch moves, skips any place already taken by a Trajan tile, and then sits where there's no Trajan tile. Uh, and I think that's it, that's all the actions there. These tiles up here, if we get them, uh, these permanent ones, these, these are on, like there's one here, the flame, it will go here and that will count towards one of Rome needs, Rome's needs. There'll be three lots of Rome's needs each quarter year. And um, when it happens, it could be that there'll be three flames or it could be a flame, a bread and a, uh, a military uh, helmet. Um, one of each and you would need each one if not for every one that you have not got to meet Rome's needs and they'll be the, These have been shuffled up. We don't know which ones are going to come out It's minus four points for the first one that you haven't got minus nine for two minus 15 points for three If you haven't got 15 points and it's minus 15 You're just going to go back to zero space there on, on the on the track one other thing I'd just like to mention and we'll get on with playing the game is if I picked up three pegs in a bowl, I have to declare, the player says three or four or one, whichever amount, they have to actually empty a bowl. The peg here moves, if, it was gonna, if I said three, the peg moves one, two, three. Uh, sorry, it does go the other way, Donna, doesn't it? <laughs> it goes from where the arrow is that this would done it, yeah. One, two, three. Now, if it was here, for instance, and I picked up a bowl and said five, you go one, two, three, four, five, overshoot, and at the start of the next uh, round, it wouldn't go back to here. It would actually carry on from there. So some rounds can be really small. And you can, you can really screw somebody over a little bit by um, taking a lot of pegs, knowing that they wanted to do something uh, immediately. And you can force the end of that, that, that round that way. Um, but I wouldn't say there's too much of that goes on in the game. It's a very, very uh, clever uh, interwoven game with some, some really cool mechanics. And it all gels and all works well. Although there's all these little mini games going on, it all works pretty well. And I think that's enough game explanation, and I think we're good to start. Right, so let's determine who's going to be start player. So we get the discs, give them a the good shake up, and Donna, pick a hand. And it's going to be me as start player. <laughs> there we go. So I go on the bottom... So the Donna goes on the top, because I'm going to go first. If there was no change, Donna would win the Senate at the moment. It's the one at the top. So what I'll do first now is we put... These have been shuffled up. We have uh, two discard piles. Now I can either pick now um, a card off the top or one of these cards. So um, I get to pick three cards to start playing. I'm going to pick one. I'm going to pick that one there for two. And that one for free. Now, Donnie, you pick yours. I'll pick two off the pack. Okay. And that one. And that one. Okay. And then we get end up like that. So we've each got three cards. I'm going to start player. Put my token there. Um, now what we need is the st we're starting with the start player. Oh, first of all, you have to put your tra your pegs in. So. Um, do these together? Yeah, put two pegs in each bowl, any any you want, as long as there's two in each bowl, any combination. Now, because we've played it a few times, we're trying, it, it pegs are going to move around, they have to, but we'll try and match up some of them colours there, the coloured pegs to, to key into them. It won't work out that way, but some might pick up on them. I'm pretty much done. So that's my peg sorted out and Donna's yeah. two in each bowl. Now starting with start player. I get to pick three Trajan tiles. Um, and they go in... Two, four, six. Two, four, six. Yeah. To start with. Um, oh, and uh, you should have a disc. Yes, there it is. Doesn't matter which combination. They go on the uh, arrow there of the victory point track. So I think I'll take that one. And put that under number four. And I'll have this one. Two, that's two and four done. And for six, I think I'll have this one. 
There we go. Now Donna does the same. I'll get the games one for two. And that one for four. Match up, both match up. Mm -hmm. Six. Um, Yeah. Okay, and we're pretty much good to, I think we're good to start the game. Right, so let's get playing. Um, so first thing first is picking up some of the pegs out of a bowl. I know that I've got a blue and a green in this bowl here, which will match that Trajan tile, but it has to be my target bowl. So I'm going to pick up these two from here. I'll drop one in this bowl, one in the next bowl, so this bowl's empty. You have to take the whole entire contents of a bowl. I've dropped one there, drop one in here. Doesn't matter that it's a yellow one I dropped in there, it could have been the other colour that I picked up. But what does matter is that it's my target bowl and the um, blue and green matches the peg colours on here, which is green and blue. So, as red, I get five victory points. The laurel leaves have done increments of, of, of five. So I'm off the mark, I've got five victory points, but also I get to place uh, one of my little men tokens, meeples, up into here and make him a legionnaire. There you go. And that tile gets discarded. So that is my turn. Yeah, I'm going to do the same. So oh, hang on. One thing I forgot. I get to do... do the inside. Yes, I get to do the forum action, which is pick one of these tiles, and I'm going to pick... Uh, shipping there. I'm going to pick an extra action tile. So because that was my target bowl, I get to do the extra action, which was a forum, and I'm going to pick the shipping one, which gives me a extra action tile there to use in the future. Right, I'm going to move two. Oh, I didn't move my first. So we all both moved two. So Donna picked up yeah. on this. Do you, want, do you want to do this each time? Oh, Donna, yeah, Donna's moved it. So two and two. There you go. Yeah. So you can be in charge of that. Um, so one in there, one in there, and I can do this Trajan tile. Yeah. At one point. One point, and it goes on towards what Rome needs, what Rome requires. So get you one victory point. And I can do the... Um, forum. Forum tile. As well. So, yeah. so your target bowl is the same as mine. So I'm going to get a Jaffa. A Jaffa cake, there you go, which is a loaf of bread, but we'll call them Jaffas. Right, um, what am I going to do? Okay, I need a blue and a white here, cannot manage that, can't manage the blues there. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to do three. Do you want to move me forward three, please? I'm going to drop one here, one here, and my target bowl is the Trajan. Um, Trajan action, so I can now pick any one Trajan tile. Oh, and I, I must say, when we, I forgot to say this, when we picked our free Trajan tiles that went um, at space 2, uh, 4 and 6, they had to be free one-off different uh, piles. So they had to be free entirely different tiles for each of us. And we, and we did do that, but I forgot to mention that that's, that was a rule. But now, with a Trajan action, because that's the target bowl, and there's the the little uh, action I can do. Uh, showing the Trajan uh, arch, I can pick a tile. I'm going to pick... So if I got one showing either pink and green, or pink and yellow, or yellow and green, uh, so forth, then I'm pretty much set up here for future turns. And there's nothing is there that matches yeah. this so far. So not worked that out quite well. I think I'm going to get this one here there we go so um and what am i saying it has to go under gate. has to go under the gate doesn't it so wait a second actually uh blue and white no green and white no can't match anything up anyway yeah no do you know what i'm going to take this one so it has to go under my trajan arch and my trajan arch moves around to the next free available space which is there and that's my turn I'm going to move three. Three. So one, two, three. So I can do this. Yeah. Tile. So you get two cards. Two cards. And three points. Yeah. So it's up to you how, how you get the two cards. Mm. And you get three victory points. Mm. Two. 
Oh, okay. If you actually picked one and then looked and then... No, it's fine. Okay, fine with that. I discard that one. Okay. Um, oh, and I can do the Senate action. Senate action, two victory points. Okay. Um... Hmm. I'm going to do free. Do you want to move free? So that's the end of a round, so which will mean your start player. Uh, I'm going to put one, two, three. Um, they do not match, but I can do a shipping action. And I'm going to pick up two cards and discard one. There we go, that's my action. So now we have Rome Demands, because we've gone past the arrow. So on the next round, Donna will start. Now, even in a two-player, we find, don't we, well, who, who triggered the end of the round once you get into the meat of the game? So that's why we're just putting this token back until we know it's going to be Donna to start, because I triggered the end. It was my go last. Uh, it certainly helps us in, in multiplayer games. And Rome is going to, to, to demand... That we have, I think that's the games, isn't it? Oh, uh, right. Fire. Pardon? I'm all right, yeah. yeah. So Rome demands that we have that. Um, so Donna's all right. She's actually got a permanent one. Uh, but I need either a permanent one or one that you can discard. Or I'm going to lose four points straight off. And uh, it's Donna's turn. Um, I'm going to move four. Four. So you're doing a build action. Okay. So what you did there, you did not cheat, even though it looked like you was. Oh, no, I didn't. You you moved them round, but you you wanted to put one in a different bowl. Yeah. Um, I'll go for that one. Um, okay. So five victory points. And because you're covering, because you're covering the, was it the roof tile? Because you're covering the, uh, putting the very first tile down, you get to do the associated action, associated action the very first time you put it down, which is a Trajan action. Yeah. Right, so Donna's got to pick her Trajan tile. I'm going to pick this one. Okay. Goes under the arch and moves along. That's my turn, isn't it? Uh, four. Yes, I'm going to be able to do this. So, I'm going to pick up four. Um, I'm going to place one here, one here, one here, and one here. So my target bowl is this one, which is the build action, but I've also completed that Trajan tile, two blues. So we get three victory points for red, please. And I get to pick up two cards, that's the tile. So I get to pick up two cards. I'm going to have uh, that one and that one. That worked out quite well for me. And also I get to do the build action. So um, I'm going to take the little, my little guy and... Um, I'm going to also, no, yeah, I'm going to play, mm. oh, it's agonising sometimes, I'm going to, uh, what am I going to do, the fountain action gives me shipping, yes, I'm going to do this action here, for five points, so five victory points for me please. Place the building tile on my board, and I can do a shipping action because that's what it uh, is related to. For the very first time, you place it. I'm a shipping action. And I'm going to ship some goods, and I'm going to do the uh, this one here. I think I've got the three pairs, so I've got two diamonds, I've got two scrolls, and I got two pillar tops or pillars. 
So that gets me 15 points and that gets flipped over. So then I can still use it but I got first dibs there. And these cards now are out in my plateau to uh, for endgame scoring. Oh do you know one thing we haven't done? We didn't get a tile out the back each. Oh. Yeah, just remember so we're what the favour tiles, not favour tiles, that's another game, <laughs> that's Terra Miska. The bonus tiles, we get one each. So I'll just get one out uh, do you want to get actually pick one out? And I'll pick one out. Should be I think start player menu. So it works out exactly the same. And mine's going to pay me three out for every uh, wine, grapes, and three out for every fish. And I just don't have to have any of those. And Donna's is going to pay a, a one-off if she's got uh, one of these flame green tiles at the end of the game. She get, she'll get nine points for it. And they're both on the gold side, so or yellow side, whatever. So that's that. So it's Donna's go. Mm, four. Four. Triggers another end. So shipping. Yeah. Um, add two cards. Yeah. You have to discard one. Okay. And Rome, because we went past the arrow, Rome has decided and demanded that oh it wants oh this is gonna be painful for me unless I do something about it. It wants another. I think they're games, aren't they? The flame. Norm. Right, okay. Uh, there's nothing. No there's nowhere to get one from, is there? Ooh. And there's two rounds basically to do that. Because once the third tile comes out at the end of that round, then that's when you have to have them goods. So, hmm. Okay, right. Let's concentrate on this. I'm going to uh, I'm going to do a five action. So I'm going to drop one hit. Uh, yeah, one here, one here, one here, one here. One here. Okay, and I do a um, Senate. Senate action, which is bringing this forward and getting two points. Okay, you'll go. Ooh, that was a quick go. Military. Military. Move your big guy. One of three places, isn't it? Mm. To start with. Yep. You're doing much better on that. This is where I'm going to lose points, and you, you know now, aren't you? So it's going to close that nice. gap. You're going to lose four at the moment. I'm going to lose fifteen. Depending on what this is, because Rome has spoken again. We've just triggered past the arrow, and Rome demands. Rome demands helmets. Look at that. You've got a helmet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right. Well, military, I would say it demands military and it demands two lots of games. Okay, it's my turn. We've just got this go till, the arrow, till it comes past the arrow again, or to the arrow, and then we resolve those three tiles. And uh, the and first quarter year, scoring. Right, so my go, um, I think I'm going to do, I want a target of a military action to try and get one of those helmets up there. Uh, so, first bowl uh, there, which now matches up the colours, but it's got to be... Yeah, three. Second bowl, third bowl. So now I can do a military action. Um, why did you move my guy? Oh, I meant to move blue. Sorry. Yeah, so you move that. So I'm going to move my guy. Uh, oh, here. Yeah. Oh no, because that just gets the helmet in there. Oh, yes, no, I'll do that. Yeah. I can get myself a, a, an extra action on military. So now it's your turn. Um, I'm going to do military. Oh, I've got to move these first. How many? Uh, two. Do you want me to move it? Yeah. One, two, military. Okay. Um, 
Yep, yeah, out of there. Five points. Five points. Put them in the box. I'm going to give the other one is covered the box, hasn't he? Um, right. Uh, okay. I need to do another military action. Damn. Do you know what? I got that tile I could have done two. No, no, no. Oh, I can. Yeah. I'm going to do two. Do you want to move it forward two, please? Even though they match up perfect. I'm going to put one in there, one in there. Target bowls the military action. I'm going to do the military action of moving to there. Get that tile, which is a helmet, which matches that. And then I'm going to move a little guy there, discarding. I'm going to do the action twice, discarding my extra action tile. So that goes out the game. And I get six victory points. The little guy there. That's it. So when the little guy goes, the legionnaire goes to where the military leader is, um, he, he's like a placeholder for it, if you like. He has to go where the where the leader is. So to get more out, you need to move your leader, and you need to get more men out into this stock here as well. So it's done as go. Military camp, I think that's called, isn't it? And this is the workers' camp, or good as. Senate action. Senate action. Three victory points. Okay. Uh, well, one before. So I'm going to trigger the end of the round now. So we know that after we do all this, Donna's going to be the start for the next round. Um. Oh, what am I going to do? I'm going to. Oh, I'll do an action of six. This will spread them around my bowls quite a bit. Yeah? Uh, I'm going to place. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And that's a military action. Ending up on military action again. Uh, I'm going to move my guy over to Britannia. Get that there. And these are wild. So I can put this towards a card, to uh, any card to make a, a set or whatever. There we go. And that triggered, went shot and triggered the end of the round, didn't it? So first of all, um, we'll deal with, we may as well deal with me first. I was the start player for that round. So... Um, each one has to be dealt with individually. I've got no, none of these flames, uh, so game tokens not either permanent or temporary. So I get it will be minus nine victory points because I do have the helmet, and I have to discard the helmet because it's a temporary one. So I get minus nine victory points. Discard that tile. Donna, on the other hand, I've got one flame and a helmet. So she discards the the temporary helmet but so the flame's permanent four. but she still that only covers one flame so she gets minus four and those tiles get discarded as well the demand tokens now we see who's uh, won the senate and it is Donna on three because nobody's got any senate tiles so Donna gets first dibs of the tiles takes that one I have to have this one and it's turned over for the lesser amount which will pay me out for Jeffers yeah and we're burnt off the first quarter that's gone and now also what we do is we uh, these tiles all go they're gone any Senate tiles go so that's the two purples at the top I think we're interpreting this these rules right and any spaces where there's not men get refilled at the top. Can you do that, please, Donna, from, from there? That's why it's best putting the little men in the little boxes when they're there. Yeah. I'll refill these extra action free here, and then these six get refilled as well. These six here with those. And then, out the bag gets two new bonus tiles. One paying out nine points for a helmet at the end of the game and one point for every man uh, builder in this building place. And the person that won the Senate goes on top and that goes back to there. And I think we're set up, aren't we? Yeah. I think that's it for the next round. Oh, 
and any ships go back over to the blue side, paying out the most. Yeah, I think so, and it's shoot to start. Two, or one, two. Ooh, close the end, don't we? Yeah, I'm going to put one, two, and do a shipping action. Um, yeah, I'll take two cards and discard one. Yeah, discard that. That worked out okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute, Rome's spoken. The last thing they demand. Uh, Jaffa's. Jaffa's. Uh, there we go. Okay. There's nowhere to get any Jaffa's from now. No. Not unless you burn through. Yeah. Uh, which pile is it? This one, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to move five. Yeah. So one, two, Three, four, five. Senate action. Senate, yeah. Three. Print that and do it. One, two, three. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. Close, close to the end. Um, yeah. I'm going to manage to get that, aren't I? So I'm going to do one for five. One, two, three, four, five. There's still one more go. So uh, one, two, three, four, five. I get the Trajan tile, I'm going to do a build action after it. Oh, not that I can do a build. Oh, yes, I can, I've got a builder there. Three so, three points. One, two, three. And two cards. And the cards... Uh, I'll just take my chances. Oh, but I'm not going to get to use these cards, am I? I'm not going to be able to get them out. I'd have to be able to do a... Um, shipping. Shipping. Yeah. What action did have I? Oh, I've got a builder's action now. So I'm going. Oh, so in fact, uh, no, the shipping's already been taken here. You don't get the extra action there. No. That was the fountain. Damn. Okay. Uh, so I can't get a power free either. But get another action somehow. So. Hmm. Sanit gives me two more points. Okay, I'll move my builder guy out. And I'm going to... I'll go here for the four points. There we go. Uh, four points. One, two, three, four. And I place him here. I get a Sanit action. Which is two points. One, two. Okay. Turn. Four, Final turn of the game. Four. Four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Um, I can do my Trajan tile. Yeah. One point. One point. Yeah. Um, and a shipping. Shipping. One card the same. You don't get anything. I don't get anything, but, but get I out get to yeah. yeah. That's it. Done. Okay, that's the final era. Done. So, we play it out, um, I have one Jaffa, and so I'm going to lose, I don't have a second one, and I don't have the military, so I'm going to lose nine points. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have a Jaffa and a helmet, so minus four. Oh, so I haven't got two Jaffas. No, minus so minus four. four. One, two, three, four. <coughs> okay. Uh, Sanit, it's you. Um, First dibs. I'm that one. I get that one turned over. And now we simply go through the end game, which is oh yeah, it pays out for a couple of things. Let's just check on the rules. I'm pretty sure, but we uh, so where are we? End game final score, and it's really simple. So each commodity card. In a player's hand is no, worth a victory point. You've got three. I've got three. So there's three points. One, two, three. Each worker in the worker camp. Oh, so I get four. No, no, no. The worker camp says because oh, yeah, you paid out yeah. for them. Yeah, yeah. So it's me. It's one victory point. So I get one victory point. Each legionnaire in the military camp. So you get two. One, two, and I get one. 
So it's, pay, it's, pay, it's paying you out for stuff yeah, you haven't used, yeah. which is quite neat, because they've already paid, paid you, haven't you? Uh, each Trajan tile on your action circle. I've got none left. No, no. no none of us. And then each set of three construction tiles is w with an identical icon is worth 10 victory points. And each set of four construction tiles with an identical icon is worth 20 victory no, points. No, I got two. <laughs> two, you didn't get yeah, a wild, no. no. Okay, so none of us scored there. And then we do the... the um, the uh, bonus tiles, yeah. bonus tiles. But also, I've got two wilds. Have you got any wilds? No. We need to check on the, no, no wilds. No. I've got this wild, commodity wild card. This wild card is a substitute for any commodity card. It is removed from the game after it has been used. If not used during the game, it may still be used during final scoring. So I can put this to any one mm -hmm. of my commodity cards. So I'm gonna put it there so I don't forget it. And this one here is an extra action Wild okay. card. Oh, I could have used it in the game. Like? I could have used yeah. it. I forgot about that. I could use it for any one of these. Yeah. To so do yeah. an extra action. So you could have done this. Yeah, shit. but um, this wild card is substitute for any extra action tile and is removed from the game subsequently. I didn't use it. I should have done. It. Silly. But never mind. So um, should we do mine first and then see if you can creep yeah. up and catch me? I um, doubt it. It's, yeah, <laughs> it's a shame that it's doubtful. But let's move them. So first of all. Um oh okay, so right that one paying out for for Jaffa tiles six points haven't done it. Yeah, and you can't not use the tile if you need if the road demands it to keep it to get the higher points. Yeah. So that one I just did not do. Okay, one victory point for every man um for every builder working and that's it doesn't count the one in the camp here, so it's uh it's only one two three victory points for that yeah one two three um this one three victory points for every wine card i have none um no three victory points for every fish i have none all right okay um don't forget you've got your wild there. i know i know i've got my wild so maybe i could use that as a fish then yeah or a wine yeah i'm gonna do that thanks good yeah i'm gonna use that for three victory points one two three okay um Two victory points for every bit of jewellery. There's that one. Okay, what are we? One, two. Uh, and two victory points for every diamond. Oh, four. that's four. One, two, three, four. Is that done? And then we got uh, two victory points for every scroll. I've got two. That's one, four. Two, three, four. And two victory points for every. I say that's olive oil or the, the vases yeah. and none. Oh, so I didn't. I didn't break the hundred mark. We've been round. I've been round you about here before. Go Normally go past the hundred mark. Okay, I've got one times for the, the yeah, games. I've yeah, got two. nine. Yeah, but you only, only it's only once. once. Okay, so, nine. so yeah, Donna try. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's just, yeah. <laughs> There's one times for every disposable flame token. So, and so nine she points. she gets nine points for that. One, two, three, four, five, three six, points. seven, eight, nine. For every three points for every I've gold. Got four, one, two, three, four. So that's twelve. One, two, three. Haven't done that. Haven't got a military. Oh, okay. This could get close. Um, three points for every pillar. Pillar, I've got one. One, two, three. Yes. Three points. I haven't got for every bear got, skin. Yeah, oh, no. What about the last one? Haven't got any cows. But oh. I've got two of the wheat. Six points. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the best I've done. Oh, that was close. Actually. So I got ninety. Eight. Eight. I got 88. 88. 10 points in it. Oh, wow. That was better than last time. <laughs> well done. <laughs> I okay. <laughs> oh, let you, you know. What? <laughs> so, um, Pinky, no, Pinky's a little. Um, yeah, right, so uh, good game. That's Trajan. Uh, excellent, excellent game. Yeah, uh, I See, that. it was pretty close in the end. So, uh, that's, that's uh, Trajan by Stefan Feld. Thanks for watching.